As we explore the history of women's work, you will note that it exposes every corner of life, including some of the most intimate, like reproduction and childbirth. Yes, they both count as work. Acquiring food and preparing it, husbanding scarce resources and keeping the family accounts, rearing the next generation of labor, reproducing gender ideals, all these count as work. If we have masked them as done for love, that should not obscure the fact that they are also economically essential. In addition, women have more often than not earned their own keep and helped to support extended families. They've held jobs whose meaning in women's lives we have only just begun to examine. As we explore the history of work, the meaning of work in women's lives, we remember that old adage with new respect. A man he works from sun to sun, but women's work is never done. We will ask who owned the labor power that women expended, as well as who owned the bodies of women workers. And we'll discover that women owned neither of these on their own or unambiguously. We'll illustrate how the sexual division of labor emerged and explain its persistence. We'll discuss the significance of wages and to whom they were paid, and ask why they were always lower than the wages of men. We will explore the importance of sexuality, sexual harassment, marriage, and children in the construction of the labor force. And we will do this for all kinds of women. But we'll also take note of what historians and sociologists sometimes call social reproduction. How did women participate in reproducing not just the labor of their families, but the ideals of citizenship on which the nation depended. We'll explore the idea that work can be an extension of unpaid as well as paid experiences in the home and out of it. We'll see how women became unpaid and paid caregivers outside their own homes. We'll follow the changing meaning of domestic service. We will note the special meaning of citizenship as it applied to women's unpaid work. What did women do in the polity, and how did they succeed in doing it?